protesters rushed into the residential apartment after breaking the wall. Occupants say the entire apartment was filled with water within seconds, leaving them with very little time to react and find safety. The ceiling became the only option for escape, but the little boy slipped from the hand of his father and fell into the water. All efforts to find him were unsuccessful until the water began to recede and he was found dead in the corner of the room. The parents of the deceased were devastated and could not speak to City News. Nana Yao is a neighbor to the bereaved family and he gave his account of the incident to City News. You know, we're all inside. I was even asleep. And then before we realized, the water started coming into our rooms. But then uh, we realized that a wall broke at the back and that wall hit uh, the window of the other tenant and pulled the burglar proof out. And then the glass also broke and the water started gushing into their end. So because the wall broke also, the uh, biofill compartment at the back there also got broken and then the water started going through it. The other guys at the other apartment got trapped in there. And so they struggled and they managed to pull the burglar proof out here. They were having this little child in their hands and a one and a half year old boy. And then uh, I don't really know what happened in there, but before I, uh, what I was told is that, you know, he uh, lost control because the water gushed in and then he needed also to struggle for his own life. And so he left the boy and then uh, the water came with the boy together with the belongings and they got stuck in the other side of uh, the balcony. So uh, the waters receded and then we began picking the items and then we realized that the boy was locked in there in the items. And, you know, we brought him out. We tried resuscitating him. We did our best. And then we rushed him to the hospital. But then uh, when we got the open assessment, we were told that the boy has gone. The floodwaters left their mark on the building as windows, security doors, and even steel gates were destroyed. Some other occupants of the apartment say they could not salvage any of their possession from the apartment. Some other residents of Broadcasting Lane 5 were also affected. As they could count their losses, they expressed their disappointment in municipal authorities for failing to pull down buildings sited on waterway, even though they have been earmarked for demolition for several years. Some community members spoke to City News. <laughs> First name so far hopa, and a mammy coco horse so far ho. But you say, I'll be a sick coin. I'm a corner of the tababet to her. I'm a ne, I call a kid to a one year, two years. I will feel me a year. So, while she are, and ya dear, a bed boy. And this is a bind of honors with tea and dear. Won't you any shaha? Any more new ya, as a penny four to one or more. Maybe I'm so as a fabiano. A moon shena in soon in your coin and far ho. Say so a dynasty soon one, a moon trying no more cassa. Now say so, baby, Jack Quiney be at one, a soon bit to me, a tony bin your quine, a bessia qua, a bed boy, not a moment me, a bridge, and my yammer can't quit me a day. Affin, who shall I tell to wash? I a true baby, what away, what away? As a more try no more share, now sunny moon in a tutor. And Ras say, Yap Brabby, Ada Wurma, a friend of Kojo, or no, and a gym in a member. A difference, you moment, and sooner than that, may ha. Na dear Han is a better na hands when he had Jeno at the next house na a yeah. All right, so that's a story there. Uh, very unfortunate, very, very unfortunate and um, incident there where the child lost their life. We have um, a, a colleague uh, who brought us the story, Calvis Tetter on the line. Calvis, good morning. Calvis, good morning. Yes, good morning, David. Yes. Um, so, what do you have any further details on exactly what happened? Did the boy, um, were, were the flat water, did it rush on the father and the son? Um, how did the, the father lose the son in the, in the commotion? Well, David, you know, uh, for those who don't know the broadcast in the side, the broadcast in the area is actually. Uh, where the lighthouse is when you're heading to, let's say when you're heading from Akara to Kakwa, 
on your left hand side you see the lighthouse with the this a high high rise buildings and then uh, there's this uh, mask on, on top of the broadcasting hill okay. that's actually the area where the uh, broadcasting site is it is a small community around that area and according to some residents i spoke to they, they are saying that initially uh, when the rain started they are earlier on one the assembly the cast out the assembly of the impact of the rain sometimes when it rains uh, they also believe that uh, Individual attitude, you know, people are built on waterways in that area. The fact that uh, the, the spaces that are left for the rain to uh, and to use at this cost have been impeded on by, by by development, and that is actually one of the reasons that led to the area being flooded when the rain started on Friday. Uh, one of the residents I spoke to tell me that on several occasions they have warned some of these residents who seem to have money on their hands so fair that every time they take the issue to the assembly. It is not dealt with properly because mm. you see they are putting up buildings around that area. Mm. And they believe these are some of the things that led to the, the flooding in the area. On the incident that happened on Friday, uh, the, the couple, a Nigerian man and then a Ghanaian lady, they are the ones who were affected by this. Uh, they are one and a half year old boy. Mm. At the time, was, at the time the rain started. The rain started around late in the night. So according to a neighbor who was close to them, when the rain started, uh, you know, because of because people are built on waterways, the rain uh, couldn't get access to flow. So then the residential apartment the couple were living in, there was this uh, wall at the back of the residential apartment. Mm. So the rain broke down, the, broke the wall, okay. and then entered from the back door. Mm. At the time, the brother of uh, this couple was having the one-and-a-half-year-old baby in, 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 uh, close to his chest okay. in the bedroom. So okay. when the rain cast out from the back of the window, it broke into the bedroom where the individual was, together with the beach. So, when the rain came in like that, it broke, uh, how do you call it, the buckler through window and all that. Mm. So then the rains were coming in so, so quick. And he couldn't also open the door to go out because the rain had blocked, the water had blocked the, ah, the entrance okay. the outside. Front. So, okay. then the boy was just sitting on, 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 on his shoulder. So he was trying, he was struggling to open the door and then probably go out to the hall. But it was difficult for him. So suddenly the, the boy slipped from his hand and then fell into the water. He struggled to grab the boy that he couldn't see the boy. So then okay. he also had to grab him out and out of the room because it was getting dangerous for him. Okay. Uh, according to the neighbor, they searched for the boy in the room. They couldn't find the boy. Mm. And then, you know, they started to think they, they began to be worried because it was just a small room and how come that they couldn't even find the boy in the room. So it was after the, the rain, the water went out of the room. That's when they saw the boy in the corner of one of the rooms. Right, the Calvis. Calvis. Yes. Yeah, remember not long ago, um, uh, Mr. Patrick Kumo led a team to demolish some of the structures, you know, along the road that caused um, flooding in the area. What has happened to that project? Well, uh, the MC, uh, the Qatar MC. Uh, led a team to go and do some demolition around the broadcasting area. You know, the broadcast, the cut out and then we just have a share boundary. So the, when the flood came in, the MCE for which I cut out led the team to go and do some demolition. Mm -hmm. They have done the demolition, but I believe they still need to go further into the community where people have built on waterways. According to the residents, they have complained to the assembly on several occasions to come and see to it that they solve this issue, uh, problem. But several, when they complain, these residents who are built on this water, we seem to have money at their, at their disposal, you know, so they sometimes uh, uh, tend to pay their way through and they don't get results. Uh, I went to the area, you could see huge galleys and portals that have been created by the water. Mm. It tells you that the water hasn't got access to, to move, so therefore it comes back into the community. And that is what mm. happened on, on, on Friday. It's quite a sad thing, Grandma, to see hmm. the family. Uh, and losing their one and a half year old baby boy to this disaster. Uh, from what I learned, the family is currently in a hotel, lodging in a hotel, trying to put their things together and see how best they can also uh, move from the area. According to them, they can't stay in the area again. Of course. Because this, yeah. is, this is something that keep on reminding them. Yeah. You know, it, it's sad, Prima. It, it is, it is, it is very, very unfortunate. Yeah. You know, yesterday I couldn't 
watched the report. I mean, mm. halfway through, it was so emotional for me. Yeah. I just had to yeah. mute, you know, the, the sound and just watch yeah. pictures. Very, very terrible. Trying to save your child yeah. and then you lose uh, what, what you are running away yeah. from catches up with you. Yeah. Very, very terrible. Anyway, yeah. thank you very much, Calvis. What was was there something you're going to add? Yes, in thirty seconds. Yes, then again, come back to to the culture. You know, we need to actually adhere to some of these directives to ensure that. Um, I mean, um, our communities are safe for us to live there. Yeah, you are very right. Mm. You are very right. Is the area a natural wetland area? Is it a low lying area? It's a low lying area. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very Thank much. You. Right. Right. All right. You know. So, so, so the broadcasting area I know yeah. very, very well. Mm. I've personally um, um, covered flooding. Them, yes, right? yes, I did. Mm. And um, I've actually covered flooding in that area. Mm. David, when it rains, it's, it's, it's sad. Yeah. I mean, to put yeah. it bluntly, you, when you look at the level of water in people's homes, the, the debris that it leaves, you know, mm. the mud that comes, yeah. it's, it's, it's very unfortunate. Yeah. Whatever has to be done really needs to be done. The kind of construction works that have been done in this area, blocking, you know, free flow of water is mm. one thing to really look at. Not in um, big drains to collect the water. Yeah. Some areas, you know, not even um, drains at all, mm. no drains at all. And these are some of the issues that are causing flooding. When it mm. rains, that whole wager Kaswa Road is a no-go mm. area, from traffic to flooding to not getting anywhere yeah. to pass. And you should have been. I, you know, I told you I was in a farm in that area yes. yesterday, and it was terrible, mm. terrible. Yeah. Well, we'll take a quick break. After that, we have more conversations coming up. Don't go anywhere.